Most parents love and care deeply for their kids and want to see them succeed in school and all other areas of their lives. But many parents fail to help their kids realize and maximize the immense brain power they have and need to thrive. Many simply don't know about the key periods in their child's brain development and the relatively small windows of opportunity they have to enhance their son or daughter's intellectual and emotional growth. And some of these windows are really small. If you've ever found yourself perplexed by how fast kids grow, you don't even want to know what's going on behind that forehead. At the cellular level, brain development is explosive and incredibly quick. Every single one of their neurons needs to make an average of 15,000 connections before the brain is fully wired up. So that means at any given time, nearly 2 million synapses are being generated in your kid's brain every second. Now wiring up the entire thing takes about two and a half decades, but no time is more eventful and more consequential to this entire process than the beginning. If electrical wiring doesn't occur properly or optimally during this time, the chance to do so may be lost forever. In this brain snack, we'll look at the most important stages in your child's brain development and see how parents can capitalize on these critical periods to help their children build the fastest, happiest, and most efficient brains possible. talk about how to make the best use of critical stages in brain development, we kind of need to look at how brain development works. So let's start at the beginning. Well, first, you got to make some brain cells. In a process known as neurogenesis that begins in the third week of pregnancy and is largely complete by the time you have your gender reveal party, about four and a half months gestation. In this relatively short period of time, your baby makes 100 billion neurons at an astonishing rate of about 500,000 brain cells every minute. Just mind blowing or mind building? But this isn't just some fun fact. This brain building stage represents the first and shortest critical period of brain development, a period where things that parents do and don't do matter. Now, this entire process is genetically programmed and occurs in pretty much the same way for everybody. So there's very little that parents can do to change or enhance it. But there are a ton of things that parents can do to screw it up. In particular, what mom eats during pregnancy, what she doesn't eat, what she drinks, how much she exercises, how stressed out she is, and certain drugs she takes, prescription or otherwise, all have the potential to disrupt or influence fetal brain development. Now the real business of brain development is synapse formation, or the formation of those 15,000 or so connections that each brain cell needs to make. This process kinda sorta starts during pregnancy, but skyrockets after birth. Unlike neurogenesis, synaptogenesis, along with the corresponding explosion in dendritic growth that occurs, is a very prolonged process. Dendrites, by the way, are those little branches on each neuron. Their numbers explode during this process as well. In some parts of the brain, this electrical wiring can take a year. In other parts, it can take a decade. Brain development also involves myelination, which is like greasing the brain's wires so that electrical impulses can travel faster. When you notice your kid starts to do things faster, like walking faster, talking and making connections faster, and controlling their emotions more readily, it's largely because of an increase in this fatty substance in their brain. There are three main ways that parents can promote the healthy production of myelin in their kid's brain. One, feed them a high fat diet. Yes, babies and kids need to eat fatty foods every day for a faster brain. This is because myelin is a fat. It's a lipid. And the best myelin is made from diets high in good cholesterol, omega-3 fatty acids, and DHA. Numerous studies link DHA consumption in babies to higher IQ in infancy and later on in life. Kids also need to be active. Exercise activates myelin-producing genes in the brain. And being sedentary for extended periods deactivates them. This is one of the main reasons why I'm so anti-video games. Couch potato kids kids have slower brains, period. The third thing you can do to help boost the production of myelin in your baby's brain is snuggle with them as much as you can. Yeah, that's it. Babies who receive an eight minute massage every day for four months are smarter. They have better memories and are better at object discrimination than babies who don't. Just like exercise, touch stimulates myelin production. You can learn more about the effect that touch has on kids' brains in this video. And lastly, brain development involves a huge brain dumping process where your kid's brain literally dumps millions of neurons and billions of synapses every day in a process known as pruning. What? What in the world? That's crazy. Why go through this entire process of making all of these 
precious brain cells just to turn around and destroy half of them. But this is actually a genius move on evolution's part. It's the reason why our species has geniuses at all and is a critical step in making your own jet a genius. This very crucial step is what allows the human brain to be so adaptable and efficient. You see, we start our lives with way more neurons than we need and only the ones that we use constantly and consistently are the ones that can stick around. Synapses that are highly active, that is they receive more electrical information and release greater amounts of neurotransmitters become stabilized and sort of cemented in the brain. Synapses that hardly or never get used wither away. So right from the very beginning of life, it's use it or lose it. From the very beginning, your child's brain is being shaped by the demands placed on it. The genes that parents give their kids is what creates that molecular blob of molding clay that sits in their skull, but it's the environment and the experiences that parents provide that mold it into a brain that can thrive in this world. Simply put, if the neurological pathways that help kids play video games and watch YouTube are all or the main pathways activated in their early years, if parents consistently fail to activate and stabilize electrical activity that will help them read, write, speak, solve problems, and control their emotions, once those neurons get pruned away, it will be exceedingly difficult for your child to do these things in the future. Now, myelination, synaptogenesis, and synaptic pruning all occur at different times in different brain regions, which has the effect of creating these sort of pockets of time or critical periods, which are phases when particular brain regions are particularly sensitive to outside influence. During these periods, specific brain regions experience active growth and refinement. And after these periods, the opportunity to wire them differently is significantly limited. In part two of this brain snack, we'll take a look at some of these key critical periods that every parent should know and no parent should miss.